Hello, today I'm going to review a case along with literature. This is a case of a 33 years old woman presented at the outpatient clinic complaining of abdominal pain for the previous two years. The pain was intermittent and colicky in nature. No significant past medical or surgical history was given. This is the picture A is non-contrast or pre-contrast study, and B is contrast and post-contrast study. So in the land contrast, we see the hypoechoidism in the at the pancreatic head region, and in the post contrast image of CT, we see subtended hypo and ten lesion in the pancreatic neck and no heart dilatation. So let's see the detail of the report of the CT. So this is a contrast of NCT scan. Of the abdomen and pelvis reveal a 2.3 by 2.1 cm mass at the neck of the pancreas. The reason had multiple substation and appear hypodent in comparison to the rest of the pancreatic tissue with mortal appearance after contrast administration. No related pancreatic duct washing. This is the PET CT. There will no significant pressure uptake of the pancreatic Creatic lesion. Difference analysis of the case. First one we have pancreatic adenocarcinoma, adenocarcinoma, solid pseudo papillary epithelial neoplasm, intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasm. A really pancreatic schwannoma. The final diagnosis was pancreatic schwannoma. So what is the treatment for the case? Yes, the patient was got the robotic subtotal pancreatic OV, which followed up at the outpatient clinic. So what is the schwannoma, pancreatic schwannoma? Schwannoma was first described in 1910 as pendle cell tumor and that originate from the myelin producing swan cell, cell lining the peripheral nerves of autonomic sympathetic or parasympathetic fiber. It is usually seen in the extremity at next meiastinium and in the retroperitoneum with fewer than 100 cases of pancreatic schwannomas reported in the literature up to the current day. Pancreatic schwannoma are type calling benign encapsulated tumor with only a few reported cases of malignant transformation. They are commonly seen in the head of the pancreas. It almost 40% of the report case and the body of the pancreas in 20% of cases. They are more common in women than men and are usually seen in the third the fifth decade of life. 
patient has asymptomatic in 30% of cases. Approximately 70% of patients present with non-specific symptoms include upper abdominal or back pain, nausea, vomiting, rage, loss, and jaundice. Pancreatic schwannoma are often discovered incidentally on CT or MRI as a solitary pancreatic muscles. However, they may really present as multiple masses when associated with one erectile Gaussian disease. They are often well circumscribed with a solid cystic or heterogeneous appearance on diagnostic imaging depend on their histology pattern. Anthony A or Anthony B. Swanomas with Predominantly Antony A, hypercellular area are usually seen on CT as non homogeneous hypoden, solid tumor that enhance post contrast administration, while those with predominant Antony B, hypocellular area are seen as well defined homogeneous cystic lesion with no significant contrast enhancement. So A is an N with hypercellular, and Tommy B is hypocellular, so it is non significant contrast enhancement. On my pancreatic schwannoma, usually it's a bit low signal intensity on T1 weight image and high signal intensity on T2 weight images. Larger lesions may undergo degeneration with cystic change, classification, hemorrhage, and hyalinization appearing more heterogeneous and complex and mimicking other pancreatic tumors. On the diagnostic imaging, the different cell diagnosis of cystic pancreatic schwannomas include poisonous or serous cystadenomas, intraductal moisinous papillary tumor, and pancreatic cirrhosis. Solid pancreatic schwannomas may mimic neuroendocrine tumor and pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Nevertheless, for the definite diagnosis of pancreatic schwannomas, a biopsy and histopathological examination showing area of Antony A and Antony B, as well as exhibiting a diffuse strong staining for S100 remain in gold standard. The management of pancreatic schwannomas may include simple inoculation for smaller lesions and for those who are showing benign histological cell type on intraoperative frozen section. However, for the masses showing malignant characteristic, the pancreatic fetal do or denectomy or distal pancreatectomy with or without splenectomy is often necessary. Learning point of the case. Pancreatic schwannoma a rare benign lesion that may appear as solid, cystic, or heterogeneous masses depend on their histology and may mimic other pancreatic tumor. Intraoperative histopathological examination of the frozen section is usually in adding, adding the surgical decision from simple inoculation to radical resection. Diagnostic imaging play an important role in establishing the diagnosis, definiting, uh, de defining the nature of the lesion and in delineating in extent. Nevertheless, for the defined 
diagnosis histopathological examination remain the gold standard. This is the reference from Radmini. 